Hi guys, thanks for joining us and welcome to this week's episode of 90 Second Gospel. So this week we are once again in ordinary time. It's still green in our churches and hopefully you're all really excited for the, for the coming summer break. This Sunday's Gospel, as we have been for the last uh, few weeks and months, is from Mark's Gospel. Uh, and it's a really wonderful story that comes just before one of the most famous stories in the Bible. But I won't spoil what that is. As usual, I've got 90 seconds to tell you a little bit about it and what that means for you. So here we go. So this Sunday's Gospel sees, well, at the start of the Gospel, Jesus and his friends, really, they're, they're searching for some space for themselves. They've been working really hard. There's been lots of miracles. People have gone out, shared the good news. Jesus has been traveling around very busy. So him and his disciples get in a boat and go to a quiet place. And I think the first thing this shows us is that even Jesus took time to meditate, reflect, to pray, and to just have a break. And as we approach the summer holidays, I think that's a really important thing for us to remember, the importance of having a break and resting. But then... All of these people arrive. All of these people turned up, following Jesus, trying to find him, trying to get close to him, trying to be there with him. Jesus was a real draw for the crowds. They they needed him. And Jesus said the phrase, they are like sheep without shepherds. These people were searching for something in their lives. They were searching for the good news. They were searching for that hope that Jesus brought. And they were looking for someone to lead them. And Jesus was that person. And Jesus is still that person for us today. This Sunday's Gospel reminds us that we need Jesus to be our shepherd. To guide us through life. To show us the path to follow. To show us what's right and what's not right. We need Jesus to lead us safely to heaven. But this week it's also important to give thanks to our own leaders. Maybe in school, the staff, teachers, maybe at home, the people who guide and protect you there. Who are your shepherds and how can you ensure that you show your faith and trust to Jesus as the true shepherd? Have a great week. See you again soon. Goodbye.